Welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 1st of November 2023. I'd like to be seen analyst at Gold Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Looking across the news, of course, we saw US equities up across the board. Vance's beaten decliners by about three to one on continued positive earnings and potentially bouncing up key technical levels across all of the major indices. However, US futures are low in Asian trading, just reinforcing that we are in a high risk situation and the market is full of uncertainty. We've got lots of big data, lots of new information coming into the market, of course, which may make for an interesting few days ahead. Asian markets are higher following that positive US lead overnight. ASX at this stage is up around 0.4%, real estate and material sectors leading the way. And the VIX pulled back significantly from its near six month highs it hit last week to return to the 200 ema and european futures pointing to a cautiously positive open at this stage one of the big events yesterday was the boj rate decision and press conference didn't do the yen any favors it saw weakness across the board particularly against the usd and as a result the us dollar index has breached the top of the range may test early october highs at this stage particularly with treasury auctions and Fed interest rate decision later on today, depending on what transpires. Gold, not surprisingly, on that USD strength, has dropped below that key 2000 level. Copper paused at the top of the short-term range and all breach support and touches the 200 MA and August levels to the downside. Bitcoin remains under the technically important 35,000 level, though slightly higher today. Earnings, Middle East conflict and the Fed are all in focus with that interest rate decision and Subsequent press conference, really important to markets. But there is really a plethora of data out. We've got global manufacturing PMI and US ADP report also due. And of course, we've got the non-farm payrolls on Friday as well. There's a plethora of earnings over the next couple of days. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Iron ore stocks continue to make... Or iron ore stocks continue their stellar week. And we can see Champion Iron here busting through that key level at around about 7.10. Looks as though it's set for a move possibly up as far as $8 in the medium term. Want to certainly keep an eye on, make sure that it closes near the high of the candle towards the back end of the day. It's part of your decision making, perhaps. On the FX front, with all of the action in the yen yesterday, you can see that we've had a reversal of that this morning in many currencies. You can see the Kiwi here is getting whacked against the yen on the hourly chart we've got a double top formation going on there with a breach of this pivot at 87.85 potentially move down all the way to 87 if this continues although you can see this last candle here is looking a little less convincing uh, but worth checking out during the course of the day without a doubt trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now